இங்கிலீஷ் சீனியர் அன்னோன் ஸ்பீடு மிஸ்டர் சேர்மன் சார் ஐ அப்போஸ் திஸ் பில் ஆன் டூ கிரவுண்ட்ஸு அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் த மெரிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பில் பிஃபோர் த ஹவுஸ் ஐ எம் அகைன்ஸ்டு எனி நியூ டேக்ஸேஷன் பீயிங் இம்போஸ்டு பை திஸ் ஸ்டேட்டு ஐ ஹவ் ஆல்ரெடி அட்வான்ஸ்டு மை ரீசன்ஸ் டூரிங் த டிஸ்கஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பட்ஜெட் In this house, my point is that before the government come forward with a proposal for any new additional taxation to be imposed upon the citizens of this state, they have to discharge a primary essential duty which they have failed to discharge for the last so many years. I am not against the imposition of any new taxes for the purpose of carrying on the administration of our state as a welfare state. But my complaint is that before any new tax is sought to be levied, even though it be for a good reason, the government have to consider whether they could not put through an effective retrenchment program and gut down expenditure. It is a top-heavy administration which we have inherited from the foreign government and which we are continuing to have without any change for the last so many years. My first objection is that this government have no right to consider fresh taxation proposals. Before doing so, they should consider the desirability of effecting suitable retrenchment which should certainly not be in the lower ranks. Retrenchment is always affected in the lower grades and the upper grades are not touched at all. We have got a top-heavy administration and there are very many undesirable and unnecessary posts in the state. These posts must be abolished and there must be retrenchment in all the departments. Has there been any retrenchment worth mentioning, the administration is being carried on in the same old manner and the same officials are there although here and there a few changes have been made as a member of the legislature I have been pressing for the abolition of the board of revenue. It is an unnecessary body and is nothing but the fifth wheel in the coach. This government have not yet attempted to think about the advisability of abolishing the board of revenue and other unnecessary posts. This is my first objection, sir. There seems to be no end to the enhancement of taxation by the government prior to the introduction of the sales. We had the land tax as our Kamadenu. But after the appearance of the sales tax, this Kamadenu of land tax began to kick and it also got famished. There were land disputes between the landlords and tenants and the tendency of the government has rightly been to support the tenant. I have been in fact supporting this tendency. Now, if the government really want more benefits to flow to the tenants, they must take it convenient for the landlords to give such benefits to the tenants without grudging. The government should see that no further Im- impediments are placed in the way of the landlords and that they are not taxed further. My second objection, with great respect to the Honorable the Minister in charge of the bill, is that this measure for the imposition of a surcharge on land revenue is a dishonest one. I am compelled to use this object adjective, the principle 
underlying this bill is no doubt a good one namely that the government are asking those who are in a better position to make a contribution to the revenues of the government i also concede that there must not be a uniform rate of taxation on land for all classes of people the present land revenue policy is defective in this respect this is a person who owns 5 acres of land and a person owning a 1000 or 2000 acres of land are assessed to land revenue at the same rate there is no difference in the rate letter from arjun and company lakno to messrs subu and company new delhi dear sirs we confirm that we have sent a telegram to you today to the effect that the correct goods have been sent to you today we regret very much to find that the wrong goods have been sent to you due to a mistake on the part of packing department we assure you that such a thing has never before happened to us during the whole of our experience as we take great care in sending goods in accord now because a figure was wrongly read by a new clerk who wrote out the packing orders we would like to assure you that such a mistake will not occur in future we apologize for any inconvenience that might have been caused to you on account of this we have instructed the railway authorities to deliver the goods to you tomorrow without fail you may please debit our amount with any expenses that might have been incurred by you and the goods sent by mistake and and hand over all these goods to the railway authorities whom we have instructed to take back the goods yours faithfully